If you've been watching this channel for a while, you probably know I cover lots of Mario and Zelda content. But it's been a while since I've shown everyone's favorite bird and bear combo some love. With Banjo and Kazooie returning to Smash though, hype is at an all time high for this dynamic duo. That's why we're turning back the clock to highlight a mystery that probably annoyed a good amount of people as kids. A sealed container that we always wanted to see inside of. Today we're heading back into the spookiest area within Banjo Kazooie as we delve deep into the Mad Monster Mansion. Now, many of you know I covered Mad Monster Mansion years ago as a whole. This was for my Pixel Portal series. In that video, we dove into everything Halloween and covered this place from top to bottom through a lens of nostalgia. Mad Monster Mansion was one of my favorite levels within Banjo Kazooie. It just had the perfect balance of spooky atmosphere and explorability. I'd find myself running around this entire area, from building to building, just taking in the spooky charm. But there were two rooms in particular that bothered me about the main mansion. Something that just seemed off in comparison to everything else we encounter. The first of these rooms is what I call the room with the sealed wall. This room is located to the left of the front door, and within this room is a fireplace like area that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. For starters, this room truthfully should be overlapping the large dining room given how the window is right next to the door, yet there is a ton of distance on the inside. Obviously this is because Banjo Kazooie plays off the whole small exterior, huge interior paradox in almost all of its levels. But this one instance always baffled me. Going into the side room I was talking about before, there's a sealed off mantle or fireplace area that is fixated on one of the walls. I always found this super, super strange, especially since there's contrasting stonework. We can tell it's supposed to be a fireplace that was sealed off, because if we go to the dining room, we can see the same border and stonework. However, for some reason this fireplace was closed off with bricks. Anytime something like this happens in a game, I always wanted to know what was behind it. Given that Banjo-Kazooie was littered with secrets that were designed for the next game, I thought at some point this wall could be broken down. Perhaps the chimney that was behind it at some point could have been climbed into and went to another part of the mansion. We do have another chimney pipe that isn't accounted for on the top of the mansion too. A Jinjo stands on top of it, so it makes me wonder if perhaps this room was completely sealed off at one point and maybe we we're supposed to head into the chimney as Pumpkin Banjo. Booting up the actual model for this room, we can see that nothing is actually behind the mantle though. The brickwork itself is actually baked into the room model and isn't an object that was placed there. Nothing but a black void lays behind this mysterious wall unfortunately. But when I was talking about a sealed container earlier, I actually wasn't talking about this. Nor was I talking about any secret stop and swap eggs hidden within the area. In fact, this level holds another closed off secret that has baffled players for quite a while. If Banjo Kazooie make their way to the top of the mansion, there are two giant windows. One of these windows leads to an empty room without anything inside of it, while the other leads to a bedroom of a ghost. The reason why I claim this is a ghost bedroom is simply because there's no doors leading out of it. Heck, there are no doors leading anywhere in this mansion. All the rooms are sealed except for the windows. This bedroom holds something pretty interesting though, a giant chest. And of course, when there is a locked box, we always want to get inside of it. Any form of attack on this chest seemingly does nothing though. We can't break it open at all. And to make matters worse, it doesn't help that we saw a giant floating key earlier in the game. Obviously, this key was designed for something else, but a kid without an explanation wouldn't know any better. But by far the worst part of this chest is that it is sized perfectly to have something put inside of it. It'd be perfect for some sort of collectible item. Beyond that, this isn't the first time we've encountered a large chest in the game. The problem is, we were able to open the first one. Treasure Trove Cove's entrance is actually through a chest that has a movable lid. Once we secure enough jiggies, we're able to unlock the chest, thus granting us access to a new world. So of course, seeing a giant chest of the same build would make players think we could open this one as well somehow. But it turns out, the chest is actually part of the floor itself. If we move the camera in the game into the chest via a camera mod, we quickly realize it's just part of the room. The carpet doesn't exist beneath the chest, and it's just a black void. Normally, you can't clip your camera through the chest to see this. So the chest in this room is different than the Treasure Trove Cove chest simply because Treasure Trove's chest is actually two parts. Whereas the Mad Monster Mansion's chest is just one solid object textured to look like it might possibly open. 
It's unfortunate that this chest doesn't open, but that doesn't mean that was always the case. While the mystery of this chest will forever remain, it's possible that at one point in development, this chest may have had a different purpose. It seems like an odd piece of furniture to place next to a bed given how oversized it is. But with that said, did you ever try to open this when you were younger? Any other Banjo-Kazooie mysteries bother you to no end? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And with that, thanks for tuning in to this haunted treasure hunt. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching guys and gals, and until my next video, cheers.